So this is the Behringer DeepMind 12. I'm playing a preset here from the library. This one has the arpeggiator running. I like this tap hold feature, so you don't need to use a sustain pedal to hold down the notes. And then your hands are free to play around with the different parameters. Now the presets on this synth are fantastic. You get a huge collection of them. I can scroll through them with the plus and minus buttons here. I can access the different banks by hitting the bank up and bank down switches. You get 8 banks and within each bank you have a total of 128 presets. So a lot to work with here. Now let's take a quick overview of the different sections of the synthesizer. This here is your main oscillator section. You get two oscillators with a bunch of controls in there. Over here we have the VCF section, the analog filter. There's a separate high pass filter here. And of course the VCA section with the level control. This is the envelope section. You get three envelopes, one for the VCA, for the VCF, and a freely assignable mod envelope. Two LFOs in the LFO section here. There's also an arpeggiator slash sequencer built in. This is the poly section for unison controls and other voicing related controls. And then finally the effect section can be accessed by tapping over here. Now this is a really deep synthesizer, so you can page through different options by tapping on the same button like I'm doing here. And then in the main screen you'll see all the individual controls. This is not just for the effects section. So for example, in the oscillator section, if I hit the edit button here, I'm looking at controls. And then if I hit that button again, I look at the next page and then I'm back to the main page. Now, whenever you're changing up control parameters with the sliders, the main screen will always display a little graphic as well as the actual value. So always keep an eye on that main screen if you want to see the actual parameter values. All right, so that was just a quick look at the layout. In the next tutorial, We'll go deeper, starting with the oscillator section.